We are at the mental health unit at UMMC and we are interviewing Edgar about his depression, suicide, and alcohol abuse. Hello. Hi Edgar, I'm Larissa. Do you Hi. mind if I, is this a good time to come in and chit chat a little bit? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm going to check your, say your name and date of birth. Edgar Brothers, um, October 13th, 1966. Okay. Can you put my, okay, if I sit down? Yep. Thank That's you. Fine. How are you doing today? I'm okay. Okay. How did you sleep last night? Mm, didn't sleep very much. How, do you always have trouble sleeping? Yeah, I don't sleep very well. How many hours per night would you say you get? Um, like maybe one to two and then a nap, nap in the afternoon, but not very much. Okay, so besides the nap, you don't sleep during the day either? No, nope. No, I'm, I like to stay busy during the day. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you ever feel miserable or sad? Um, well, at nighttime I do, but during the day I stay busy, but there's not a lot to do at nighttime, so, yeah, sometimes I get sad. What do you get sad about? Well, um, my, well, my girlfriend and I broke up a couple weeks ago, which is kind of a dumb reason to be sad, but I am a little sad about it. Do you want to go into more detail about that? Um, she kind of just got upset with me and my lifestyle habits, and so she just... Oh, kick me to the curb a little bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Have you lost interest in the things that you used to enjoy? Well, we used to go bowling a lot, but now we don't go bowling because she doesn't want to talk to me anymore, so I don't go bowling. I like uh -huh. to bowl. How about other things? Mm. No, not really. Okay. Do you still have a good appetite? Oh, for food? Mm. Yes. Well, she was a really good cook, and... So my favorite thing to do is eat cheeseburgers at the Nook when we go bowling, and I don't go to the bowling alley, so I don't eat the cheeseburgers anymore, so sometimes I eat, but not really. It doesn't taste very good anymore. I like the Juicy Looses. How many meals a day would you say you eat on average? Mmm, a couple snacks. Okay. Have you lost weight since the breakup? Mm-hmm. I think so, yeah. My pants are kind of big on me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you ever feel that life would be better without you in it? Well, I think that's how she feels, but I don't know about myself. Okay. Are you feeling hopeless about the present or the future? Well, I miss her a lot. She was my best friend, but she just doesn't want to talk to me anymore. Mm -hmm. So kind of, I guess, yeah. So besides your girlfriend, what does the future look like for you? Um, well, I don't have kids and I'm not married. So my dad died and my mom's... Okay. I don't know where my mom is. She lives in California. So she's kind of out there. But, um, yeah, I just miss my girlfriend. Her family is really fun. She has nieces and nephews I like to hang out with. Mm -hmm. I bet that was a good time. Mm, yeah, they're fun. So how long ago did your dad die? Oh, I think my dad died um, a couple of years ago. Yeah, he had okay. cancer of some sort, something. Okay. And your girlfriend kind of helped you through that, or...? Yeah, I, my girlfriend, um, her name's Whitney. I've been dating her for um, a long time, like five or six years. Okay. Yeah, so she was there before my dad died after, and during my dad died and after my dad died. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So have you had any thoughts about taking your own life? No, I, pro I wouldn't do that because, I mean, I don't religiously believe in suicide. I think it's pretty selfish, but, I mean... If I just like, didn't wake up one morning, I think I'd be okay with that. Okay. Have you tried not to wake up one morning? Um, Intentionally? No. no, like I've done anything crazy, like take 12 Xanax or anything, no, I've never done that. Okay. If you ever were to maybe take 12 Xanax, would you tell someone? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I'd probably tell? call my girlfriend and leave a message or something. She probably wouldn't answer my phone calls anyway. Okay. But I'd tell somebody, let them know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I'm gonna kind of segue into your alcohol problem. If that's oh okay. yeah. Okay. How often do you have a drink containing alcohol? Mm, are you talking like how often in a week? How often in a day? What kind of question are you asking? Mm, how about both? We'll start with the day day um depends what kind of day i'm having for sure if 
I'm really busy, then maybe I'll just have a beer with dinner. But at night, if I'm not really busy and I had a really bad day, like I really miss Winnie, cause, so then maybe like, mm -hmm. till I just go to bed, I guess. So I don't know. Six, maybe? Okay. So do you drink more when you can't sleep? Would yeah, because sometimes it helps me go to sleep. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, I guess I could. you could say that. I drink sometimes at night time. Okay. So how many drinks would you say you've had in a week? Um, well, like 50 maybe. It's six times a seven in a week, 42, plus or minus a couple. 50? Okay. Yeah. So how often, like during the last year or recently, have you found yourself like drinking and then not able to stop drinking once you started? Well, hmm, I don't know, a few times I guess. Really started drinking heavily when my girlfriend broke up with me, which was um, 13 days and seven hours ago. Okay. Yeah, so. I'd say a couple, at least three or four times where I don't stop mm -hmm. till I just go to sleep. Okay. Yep. How what else? Often, how often do you fail to do what you expected of you when because of drinking? Mm, well. Like go to a job or meet up with friends. Yeah, I don't really hang out with my friends anymore because I had a girlfriend, and when you have a girlfriend, you don't hang out with your friends. But, um, oh, small detail. I did get fired from my job a couple, a week ago. Because I came into work drunk a couple times, which they frowned upon that. I work at Chuck E. Cheese, and they really don't appreciate when you're drunk mm -hmm. working with kids. And frowned upon or something. Okay. Yeah. Are you looking for a new job? Uh, well, not currently here. I mean, I think you have to have a degree to work here, but, mm -hmm. um. Yeah, I think I will start working. Okay. Did you have a drink today? No. Uh, what day is it? Thursday. Thursday. When did I come in? Yesterday? Wednesday? Mm -hmm. I haven't drank today, but yesterday I came in really late last night. So yeah, I had drink yesterday. How many drinks do you think you had? Wednesday. Wednesday are bowling nights. So Wednesday, Wednesdays are really rough days. So like... Seven. Seven or eight, I think. Yeah. Okay. What time was your last drink at about? Mmm. Well, I had a last drink because it was last call at the bar. So then I left and then tripped going out of the damn stairs. And then the bartender called the hospital, so then I had to go, or called 911, so I had to go in the ambulance to the hospital, and now I'm here. So, like, 2 a.m. last night. Okay. Do you remember what your last drink was? Something, I just said, surprised me. Or hard oh, liquor? it was definitely liquor. It wasn't beer, no. Oh, something stronger? Yeah. That was my last one. Chris, right. one minute. Would you like to? talk about your girlfriend more? Oh, she's cool. I mean, she's upset at me because of the drinking thing, which I can understand. Mm -hmm. And then she was really, really mad when I said I got fired from my job. From my job okay. because of the drinking. But. Mm -hmm. Would you be willing to get help in order to possibly get back with her? Yeah, yeah, I think I would. I, um, I tried doing the detox withdrawal thing and those are some bad symptoms okay mm -hmm. really bad symptoms are you willing to try that again yeah yeah okay. i think i could do that um i mean right now what time is it like 7 a.m or something like that so i have only been not drinking for like couple hours so I mean the worst hasn't hit me but I know it's gonna hit me in a couple hours like right around lunchtime it's gonna crash mm -hmm. and burn so yeah I think I'm gonna need some extra help okay well we're here to provide that for you okay we'll try and do our best to help you through this and see what we can do with the alcohol okay and supplements and everything and get you through it do you have any other questions uh is she allowed to call me here yes she is she is okay yeah.
So we'll answer and then we'll let you know when we get you on the phone. Okay. Okay. By the way, my mom's name is Jill in case she calls you too. Okay, that helps. Thank you. You're welcome. Wait, I'll come back in later and check on you. Okay. Okay, thank you. Bye. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye.